Taylor L. Booth was an active Computer Society volunteer leader and a force for computer education and accreditation of computer science degree programs. The award that honors his legacy is accompanied by a bronze medal and a $5,000 honorarium. It is presented to an educator who has achieved recognition as a renowned teacher, provided significant education content, created a notable curriculum in the field, or inspired others to a career in computer science and engineering education. Eric Roberts has achieved teaching prominence during more than two decades at Stanford University. He began his tenure at Stanford by redesigning the introductory programming courses to move from the outdated Pascal to C, the industry standard. His work came to serve as a nationwide model for a language shift. His course textbook, The Art and Science of C, was adopted at over 200 institutions. He later played a leading role in revising the computer science curriculum to include instruction in Java. Due directly to Professor Roberts, Stanford University's introductory courses in computer science remain among the most popular courses in the university and enroll over 90% of all undergraduates without being required. Mm -hmm. Professor Roberts continued to increase his professional stature by authoring five influential computer science textbooks that are utilized at Stanford and at many universities throughout the world. The most prominent textbook being Thinking Recursively, which teaches students how to approach problems utilizing content from the model-based knowledge domains of science, technology, and engineering. Among other major accomplishments, he was the co-chair and a driving force behind the ACM Computer Society's Joint Task Force that developed the Computer Science 2001 Curriculum Guidelines. CC 2001 set the standard for high-quality undergraduate computer science curriculum. CC 2001 has been translated into several languages and has had an immense impact on computer science education across the globe. As a result of his achievements, Eric Roberts is a highly deserving recipient of the 2012 Taylor L. Booth Education Award. Throughout his career, Eric Roberts has profoundly influenced the structure and strategies of introductory computer science. He has an amazing ability to engage his students and colleagues. His efforts have improved the computing profession. We are proud to honor him this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Eric Roberts. Thank you so much. No one who accomplishes this kind of work does so alone. There are many people that I think it's important to thank. Uh, for the work with Curriculum 2001, I have to thank my colleagues in both the IEEE and the ACM who worked so hard to put that together. It was a real joy to work in that group and to see it have so much impact. For my books, I would be remiss in not thanking the person who made those better, in the way that Barbara made uh, the programming work, uh, my wife, Lauren Rusk, who served as the editor on those books, deserves that vote of thanks. For the work that was done in Bermuda that you saw go by, there are so many students at Stanford who made that happen. It's been an exciting year at Stanford. We've become the largest undergraduate major. Most of you have probably heard, however, about our massive online courses that enroll 160,000 people in an AI course. That technology has a role to play, but I think what we've done at Stanford in getting those 90% of all students to take a CS course without being required to is to put the best teachers in front of that classroom and give those students not just the information that they need, but to inspire them to do their best work. And in that, I think we all have someone that we remember who inspired us when we were students. And in, along those lines, I want to remember the first professor I ever knew, the person whose work inspired me to think about education creatively, to think about it broadly, and that's my late father, James Roberts Professor of Political Science, 
who taught me how much one could do as a teacher in influencing the lives of one's students and how much of a joy it could be. So thanks again to the Computer Society, to my nominators, and to everyone else. Thanks again.